Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today in this Monster Legends Week video, we're going to be going over two brand new multiversal mythics. One of them is going to be the brand new Ancestor Monster, and we have the full moveset and traits for both of these monsters. So let's just go and get into it and see if either of these are any good or worth getting. Alright, so the first leak we have is going to be just some upcoming monster names right here before we get into both of the new monsters. And the upcoming monster names are going to be Tabul, that is going to be a PvP monster. And then we have a Lord of Flamster, we have a Goruptor, and we have a Joltelin. So all of those sound pretty cool. The only one we have the event for is Tabul. But yeah, they all sound pretty cool and I cannot wait to see what all of them look like. And then we have the first evolving trait for Superfume and then we also have the Ancestor Just Injustice right here. So Superfume is going to have Hardened, Immune to Poison, and Status Caster Area 25% damage increase. Those are honestly just kind of bad traits. I don't really like any of those. And then Justin is going to have Tough, Torture Immunity, which is really good, Immune to Blind, Area Light Weakness, and Area Sunburn. So those are actually really good traits. If you can get him to rank 5, you'll get some pretty amazing traits to use. And then his Virtues are True Vision and Pierce, which are both amazing. And then the way you're going to activate that is by boosting damage five times, which is pretty cool. So hopefully he does have some damage boost in his moveset that we are going to look at momentarily. And then we also have another evolving trait for Exothermic, which is going to have Harden, Freeze Immunity, Area, and then Area Dodge, which is pretty good. But we don't have this monster's moveset to look at in this video, but we'll probably have it for next video. So let's just go and get into Justin Justice's moveset. He's going to be a light special attacker with damage boost, extra turns, and light weakness skills. So he's going to have a moderate light damage to one enemy. He's going to have a low light damage to all enemies. He also has a light weakness to all enemies, which is pretty cool. He also has a damage boost and double damage to itself, which is a really good move, especially for his virtue. I'm wondering if that will count as two times or just one time since it is in one move. But I'm guessing it will probably count as two times which will help a lot with his virtue. And then he also has a double damage to himself and an extra turn which is really good since you can use that and then another damage boost move to maybe get three times in one turn. And then he also has a light weakness to one enemy with massive light damage to one enemy which is really good. And that will of course do even more damage if you get the light weakness on first. And then he also has a damage boost to himself and an extra turn, which is really good. So it looks like you'll actually be able to activate his virtue in one turn if you're just really careful with these extra turns. And then he also has an AoE sunburn with AoE heavy light damage, which is really good. And then he has a special damage to all enemies. He also has an insane special damage and he has a triple damage and evasion to himself. And then he can remove all shields from all enemies. And then he also has a heavy light damage in that move with a sunburn and light weakness. So that is a really good move as well. So yeah, he seems like a pretty decent monster. I think you can only do up to four damage boosts though in one turn. So you will not be able to get it in one turn. But you should be able to get it in two turns. I would say that you could use another monster to damage boost. But it looks like it has to be him boosting damage. So yeah, that is very interesting. But you can definitely do it in two turns since these do have pretty low cooldowns. So yeah, this monster seems really cool and unique. I do like all of his moves and I like how much damage boost he can do to your allies that seems like it will be really good and helpful so definitely try to get this monster try to get this ancestor as soon as you can since he does seem pretty great and then we also have Superfume's Musa right here to go ahead and wrap up the video. He's going to be a nature special support with toxins, vulnerable, and damage boost skills as well, actually. So he has a double damage and control immunity to all allies. He also has a damage boost to one ally with an extra turn. He also has a 25% damage boost to one ally with an extra turn. And then he has an AoE nature damage with toxins and vulnerable, which is really great, actually. He also has a toxins, vulnerable, and daze to all enemies, which is a really good move. And then he has a AoE damage boost and he has a 25% damage boost AoE. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So this monster seems really good as well, actually. He seems like a really good damage booster as well. I do like Justin Justice more. This one definitely seems like the better damage boost monster, but Superfume does seem really good as well. So yeah, both of these monsters are really great damage boost monsters. Definitely try to get both of them if you can. And yes, yeah, is in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.